What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through a full day of eating and what I eat uh, throughout my day to hit my macros. If you guys didn't check out my last video on where I explained what macros were and how you can calculate your own macros, be sure to check that out. Um, yeah, today we're going to hit um, around 170 grams of protein, 230 grams of carbs, and 75 grams of fat. All right, guys, let's go. I've been sort of fasting un unintentionally. Um, I just sort of have coffee and water in the mornings and then around 11 or 12, um, I'll make my breakfast. We're gonna make uh, an egg, an egg white omelet. I'm using one egg and two egg whites. We're gonna throw in some spinach, some tomatoes, and then we're gonna make a couple pieces of toast pour in our egg white omelet with one egg like I said on around medium medium low heat and then what we're gonna do we're just gonna sort of coat the sides of it just like so we're just gonna keep doing that until all the liquid sort of solidifies so I'm just gonna put in a little bit of spinach it's gonna go down don't worry spinach is good for you you want to be healthy eat some spinach Popeye does it, so we should we should do it, right? Uh, here's some tomatoes. So we're just gonna go ahead, flip that over. That's perfect, nice brown. And then we're gonna put the heat on low, and we're just gonna cover it for a few seconds just to let everything sort of sink in. You can put your seasonings on as well. I put a little salt and pepper, and once I take it off, I uh, am gonna sprinkle some paprika on. I'm gonna put my toast in the toaster to get it a little crispy, and then we are going to top that again with uh, one serving of peanut butter and a serving of this sugar-free jelly. Actually, this is what I use. I use this Paul Lahner. It's it's great, it's only five carbs for a serving, which is a tablespoon. There's three grams of fiber, uh, no sugar. Real quick on the omelet, I'm also gonna throw in some medium salsa. Uh, salsa is great, it's really low calorie, it adds some good flavor. So we're gonna do about a serving and a half, which is like 40, 45 grams um, on there. You can use you know any type of salsa you want. Finding toppings that are low calorie, whether it's um, you know like this sugar-free jelly or salsa, whatever it may be, it just adds a little bit of flavor and it's going to go a long way. You guys know I love peanut butter, so I always I'm, I feel like I'm always eating peanut butter, whether it's on toast in my uh, oatmeal. You guys will probably see it, see me put it on some rice cakes later. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these on, show you guys the finished product, and then we're gonna get to eating. This is the final product, if you can see it right there. Um, so we have uh, one egg and two egg white omelet with spinach, tomatoes, topped with a serving and a half of uh, salsa, the medium salsa, and then we have two pieces of toast with a serving and a quarter of peanut butter and two servings of that sugar-free jelly. Um, this, this has been my go-to for the last you know week or so. I love just eating an omelet with some toast in the morning. I know if you put the toast together, I just made a PB&J sandwich, but everyone knows that if you make it toast and you keep it you know open, it just tastes different and it tastes so much better, especially in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna eat that and yeah, I will see you guys in a bit for uh, for lunch. Mm. Mm hmm. We are going to whip up a quick and easy lunch. We're making um, a stir fry today, barbecue uh, flavored stir fry. Uh, we're going to be using this barbecue sauce. Um, it's G Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce. If you haven't gotten this before, you should. I highly recommend it. The macros on it are great. For one serving, it's 10 calories and only two carbs. Um, I've never found a barbecue sauce that is that good. Uh, so we're gonna make a quick stir fry here. We have uh, quite a bit of chicken left to eat. I had prepped some from the other day. Uh, didn't eat it yesterday, so I have to eat it all today. So we have about 11 ounces of chicken. So we're gonna break this meal up into lunch and dinner today, actually. 
So we have 11 ounces of chicken. We're going to do uh, two servings of this stir fry uh, vegetable blend. Um, with my veggies, I like to just throw them in the microwave for around three and a half, four minutes. Uh, and cook them that way. It's quick and it's simple and that's what I like. And then we're just gonna throw one of these uh, minute brown rice uh, into the stir fry as well. So that's what we're gonna be cooking up. Heating our pan on just a medium heat just to sort of mix everything together. It wouldn't be a stir fry if we didn't use the pan. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw all the ingredients in. Let's just lightly spray it uh, just so nothing sticks. Um, we're going to throw in, again, 60 grams of this barbecue sauce. That's probably the easiest stir fry you're ever going to make. It's like we're going to a restaurant and it's taken only about five minutes. I'm going to actually be coming out with another video to show you guys how I prep my chicken and make it sort of in bulk uh, ahead of time. Having like staple meals like this just to make things taste great, but also make it quick is the easiest way to to stick to your macros, stick to your diet, and get a little variety in uh, every day. We are all done here. Here's the finished product. Again, real simple, real easy. I'll put the macros on the screen. Um, this is gonna be my lunch and dinner, so uh, whatever I put on the screen, it's just double it, and that's gonna be for two of my meals today. Using low calorie sauces, things like that, um, just really help to change change up your meals. I love barbecue sauce, so uh, I can't complain about that. So I'm gonna eat this and then I will uh, catch you guys at a workout. We're about to hit a quick shoulder workout today. Before we get started though, I just got a package in the other day uh, from this company called Oliver's Apparel. They sent me a pair of their shorts to try on. So I'm gonna test these out today, see how they go. I've already tried them on, they fit great. The material's really nice and soft. Um, I will link them in the description below so you guys can check out their website. Uh, no, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I'm not getting paid for that. Um, they're just nice people and they sent me some of their gear to try out. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and do that. I'm also going to uh, have a banana pre-workout. Uh, this is about like 20 grams of carbs, just some simple carbs to give me a little boost of energy. It's a little later in the day, so I don't want to take any uh, pre-workout or coffee right now. So some fruit is going to be perfect for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys uh, a few of the movements. And I will catch you guys at the uh, post-workout meal. guys just a quick shoulder workout there should only take you about 30 minutes uh, I'm gonna link it in the description below let me know how it goes let me know uh, how you like it um, I'm gonna catch my breath here real quick then we're gonna go downstairs for a quick post-workout snack I love having a bowl of oats every day. It's just a great source of carbs. Uh, easy way to get a complete meal in. Um, and I still have that other half of the barbecue chicken stir fry. So that's uh, gonna be like a late dinner type, type snack. And then to finish off my macros, I'm having two servings of these roasted almonds. So that's about 32 grams of fat to finish off my day. My total calories for the day, uh, I hit 2,232. I ended with 172 grams of protein, 237 grams of carbs with 48 grams of fiber. I at least try and hit around 30 grams of fiber a day, 30 to 40. So that number I'm, I'm okay with there. 
And then I got in 76 grams of fat, so I went one over on fat. As you can see, guys, it's not that difficult. As long as you plan a little ahead of time, uh, you can hit your goals every single day, especially when you use a calorie tracking app. I mean, it does the work for you. But comment down below, let me know what you guys wanna see, um, and I'd love to make a video about it. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.